You know a what? full spoil is like 75%. saw a movie on the weekend it was a uh, it was i thought it was great uh we went and saw the dragon ball heroes movie yes yes dragon ball super super dragon ball super super hero yes uh, dragon ball sorry. super super hero yeah exactly <laughs> what everything that invo- is like almost involved in this podcast is just just a complicated jumble of of words the acronyms are terrible the acronyms are awful <laughs> Uh, but that's what we're here for. Exactly. So we're the, here to confuse our fans and make you never come back. I think we should explain the funk meter. Yeah. So the certified funk. The the is it funk factor? Is it funk? What is well, it? the funk it's, factor? Whatever. There is. It's on the funk meter. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's so, the funk factor. Is the movie Funky Fresh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Or or is it Funky Skunky? Skunky. What, what do you go for? Funky Skunky is part of the funk factor. Okay. So, okay, so... So Funky Fresh would be a good on the funk factor. It's the, then, that's a that's a five-star Funky yeah, Fresh. Yeah, okay. Okay. We yeah. still... Yeah. We, and then what's, what's like four, three, two, and then one is obviously uh, f- Funky Skunky. When you're adding up the scale, it's... You're adding up the funk factor. I guess you could say middle of the road would be Funky Fragrant. Fragrant. <laughs> I'm trying to think of things that generally go with funky, and it's, all I can think of is Funky Fresh and Funky Monkey. <laughs> Those are the two. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. Is it Funky Fresh? Is this is a good, weird movie? If it's a Funky Monkey, is it yeah. just a weird movie? Yeah, it's just a weird movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. But that's only like and, and if they're funky- both... Like, maxed out, or like, not maxed out funky, but they're both funky. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. So, Funky Fresh, Funky Monkey, and then what's a bad movie? Oh, Funky's Gunky. Low Funk. Low, low funk. funk. Yeah, Low Funk, okay. Low Funk. Okay. Just contains Low Funk. Yeah, it just contains Low Funk, yep. It's a good one. So, I guess... It's like potassium. Like potassium. Uh, so, what did uh, what'd you guys think? Okay. So, like... Without going into spoiler territory... Oh, I guess... Yeah, we have to... A brief first synopsis of the film, I think, might be in order. Yeah. Yeah. Without, like, spoilers. So, like, this movie has everything you want from Dragon Ball movie. It's got the family moments. It's got the... the, <laughs> the it answers some fandom. Ooh, it does. That's true. Questions. It answers some long... Ask questions. It breaks down the fourth wall a little bit, not too hard. True, true. When? Uh, well, the, I the guess what? Well, well, yeah, without getting into too many spoilers, but there was the, the, the one moment. I'll let you finish first. Um, I think if anybody who is, like, before you watch this, go watch the trailer. Pause, pause this, go watch the trailer. Okay. Or, you know, go watch the movie. Yeah, you could. But I, I'm, I'm just saying go watch the trailer because now I can actually give a little bit of... Now I can actually give a little bit of information that's not a spoiler because if they watch the trailer, they would know what we're True. Talking. True. Um, I, think it was, I think it was good to bring people back a little bit of nostalgia. I think that was, that was a good little bit there. There was a lot of callbacks to... There was. Z and Dragon Ball. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very true. I thought that was cool. I think that was. I think that I, I really appreciated the the brief synopsis at the beginning to kind of like uh, bring everybody up to speed who may not necessarily have watched like Dragon Ball because yeah. Dragon Ball is like that goes back to the mid eighties. Oh yeah, like, I feel that like goes back 90s. a long time. I feel like it was the best put together of a Dragon Ball movie, like start to finish. There was an mm. actual through line and plot to follow. Mm. Um, in some of the old Dragon Balls, you know, like stuff just kind of happens. Yeah. In this one, nothing just kind of happened. I think the last movie, the Broly movie, I think the animation for me was a little too all over the place. Well, yeah, they put all the budget in the fight scenes for that one. Yeah. Like, yeah, that one was more. Broly was more. Um, 
Maybe to bring closely re- closely related to the same animation that they used in Super, mm-hmm. like this, like the show. Mm-hmm. But this one was like this is its own movie. They leaned a lot more into the three D in this one, a ton more in yeah. animes. Like I don't know if you ever saw the Berserk anime. The th- it's similar to three D to that, but this is a lot better. It's a little bit more cell shaded. Then yeah, it suits Dragon Ball style a lot more too. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I just think that the last, the Broly movie, I just didn't like the way that the animation was. I think it was just, I don't know. I, it, it was such a different style that it, like, kind of, I don't know. I did really enjoy all of the tiny little moments of, like, comic relief. Because mm-hmm. in Dragon Ball, all of the comic relief would come from Goku just being dumb. Yep. Mm-hmm. Being Goku. But the, there was, like, you know, the henchman uh, being unnecessarily funny. Mm-hmm. And then the yeah. callback to Hercule, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, yeah. saying saying how he was the strongest. Yeah. And it just calls it right back to Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Thought it was I, really I loved how they, they tied that all together. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we're going to mark here to go heavy spoilers because I want to talk about the whole thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah so heavy, heavy spoilers. spoilers. So if you uh, don't enjoy spoilers, you're allowed to just... Skip ahead now. Yep. Uh, you might not even hear this part if you don't like it. Yep. So, forewarning, this is where spoilers are coming out. Uh, so, I think... Uh, I liked that they kind of gave Piccolo and Gohan this, a little bit more of the spotlight in this one. Mm-hmm. Big fan oh, of that. Piccolo got that movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, that was so cool when he was like falling into the chasm and then he just pow- started powering up and just big pillar of fire. I was like... Mm-hmm. The movie is about Piccolo. Like, and this, this is a Piccolo adventure. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, one thing that I got told just yesterday, and it was good fandom, was that you might not have noticed it, but in all of the previous, like, series, Piccolo has, you know, like, the green... Skin and then like on his biceps and his like elbows and forearms, mm-hmm. he's got those like pads, pads or yep. cells or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep, those are usually pink. But if you didn't notice in this movie, they were yellow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And the reason why they're yellow is because he's aging. The older that you get, oh, as a Namekian. Cool. Your pads become different colors. Interesting. That's cool. So it's just, it doesn't really say how old he is. It's just referencing that he's he's getting older. I love the way he fucking holds his phone. That was my favorite. (laughs) Holy shit. How about the moment when when he's he's meditating on the rock at the beginning? And he just like, his ears just like twitch or whatever. And he like lowers the rock. And flies down to his house, and his phone's ringing. <laughs> and it's this little little cat, and he's got like a cat case on it. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. Um, speculation. What do you guys think? It, Gohan's leveled up form is called. Oh, I already know what it's called. Yeah, me too. What is it? No, we, Trevor should guess. We, yeah, you have to guess it first. <sighs> yeah. I have no idea. Uh, it's not Ultra Instinct. No. No, 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 not no. even close. It's its own thing. Yeah. Mystic 2? No. No. Mystic 3? No. What? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, can't go. There's no <laughs> Mystic 2. Yeah. yeah. All right? Fuck, Trevor. Huh? Shit. So what is it? Okay, we're going to give you at least a couple more guesses. Yeah. I literally have nothing to go off of. I'm trying to think of, like, what would be a good clue. Uh... Uh, uh, Very animalistic. What's that movie called? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beast mode? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Beast mode go on. Beast mode go on. I mean, that's basically it. It's that's Beast. Pretty... It's Beast go on. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Beast mode. Really? Gohan. Yeah. Yeah. It's Beast go on. Lame. <laughs> That's yeah. so lame, fuck. I disagree. I actually think that it suits him really well because if you take a look at how he, he is in his normal life compared to what he turned into, it makes total sense. He's yeah. he's straight-edged, 
really goofy and funny, almost like Goku, just as like a good family guy, and the, complete, the beast. complete opposite of that is a beast. Yeah. So I think that's what? a really good... I don't know, I mean, I don't know. I agree with Dustin. I think it suits it. It fits. I also really enjoyed all of the build-up to Cell Max. Because there was probably about 15 minutes left in the movie where it was like, are we going to see this thing or not? Is this going to lag into another movie? Mm -hmm. Or are we going to, like, are they just going to lead us on? No. And then they crammed 15 minutes of pure... Amazing action. I was a little disappointed that they made Goten or Go, uh, Goten and Trunks fuse into fat Gotenks. I liked it. I thought it paid off. I would have liked to see. <laughs> There's like, a lot more useful comic relief, and it, I guess, it, yeah. and it helped towards the the storyline. That's true. Because they, they that, that's what I mean about barely breaking the fourth wall where we were all thinking what he said before he said it. It's like, oh my god, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that film form's kind of useful. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, guess. I, think that, I think that was really funny. I think all of the, the moments of comedy hit their mark right where they were supposed to. I actually, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't have minded them to like break apart and then do like... The perfect fusion. It's got a time limit, man. It's a, half an, it's a half an hour. I guess, yeah. Yeah, so they were locked in. I guess. Magic has some hard, fast rules in this universe, Trevor. Yeah, I guess they do. Not Except like... for when Dende upgraded the dragon. Yeah, I like, want... Fuck it, I'm gonna pour some water on top of the dragon. Yeah, yeah. that was literally <laughs> like, I'll be right back. Uh... <laughs> shake this stuff on top of it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's, it's upgraded. Okay. Now it can do what Super Kami Guru could do? Yeah, or like... Purunga can do three. What? Purunga? The oh, other... not the three wishes. The fucking... He wanted the unwaken his true power yeah. thing. Apparently oh, the dragon unleash their potential. Yeah. He could bring people well, back to life but can't unleash your potential without well, an upgrade. And the other thing is, is, like, if he did that for Piccolo, why didn't he... Piccolo just say, hey, like, can you do that for Gohan? Gohan's already had it done. Twice. Has he? Oh. Yeah. He's got no, then, th he had his true power awakened by uh, Super Kami Guru. Yeah. And then he also had his uh, mythic form awakened by the Kais. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So then how the oh, fuck does he get beast? Right. His so then all of a sudden form. he just like... He, mythic Gohan. Mythic I, Beast Gohan. Is mythic the ne is mythic like, Beast Gohan. I like mm -hmm. how it isn't Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. It's literally its own thing. It, it, it's fan Ooh. art Saiyan. Ooh. It's fan <laughs> art Saiyan. It's Super okay. Saiyan 5. <laughs> what do you guys think about the, the, the outcome of the, the battle between Vegeta and Goku? I love it. That was fantastic. Everything that I wanted to see, they maybe, just nailed it. Maybe the one thing we shouldn't spoil. Yeah, maybe. Well, we we already said heavy spoilers, so obviously but I somebody's... Feel like this one thing, <laughs> this is enough of a spoiler right, right here. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Let's just cherish it. Right? I, you a know what? A full spoil is like 75%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a full spoil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. I, I thought it was good. Um, anyways. Um, I think it was, I think the outcome of that one. Because I, th I don't know. I th what, what do you think about Creepy Beerus? Fucking cre uh, Creeper Beerus? Kind of creepy. Eh, I mean, we get to see a different personality other than Grump fucking God that just eats way too much. Yeah. Thirst. Yeah. No, he's just thirsty. Thirst right, he's not hungry, he's yeah, thirsty. He's, he's That's thirsty, true, yeah. that's true. Yeah, he's not hungry it's anymore. Turning he's turning age. <laughs> <laughs> he's he didn't beer pivot very hard. <laughs> Beerus' is coming of age story. Yeah, True. <laughs> But he'll have to fight Broly. I don't think Broly. I mean, cares. pun Broly's intended. Com right. Coming of age. Pun intended. Gross. It, it was. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it kind of was. Yep. But Broly doesn't care. Broly is Broly's like a toddler in a. Yeah, he doesn't. Body. Yeah. I like the, the the very very end. The part where they they clip back to the end of the fight. Oh. Between the two, and we, he was crying with that other guy. Tells his name again. I can't even remember those side characters' names ever. 
What? The new chef, because Bala oh, is yeah. done cooking. Some kind of fan. I am never remember their names. I don't remember his name either. They're not in the video games? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not a main character? I don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah what do you guys think of so, Orange Piccolo? Amazing. Amazing. I think I think that yellow with the red eyes and he was fucking all juiced up. Yeah, he looked he looked fucking I think, mean. I think Ominous. without without Menacing. saying it, they made him more like Demon Piccolo. Yeah. They didn't say it, but they did. I totally think that that's what what they did. And not not only that, but the way that they combined the music with him after, he, you know how he got his first form where he was like kind of orange, mm-hmm. and then Shenron as he's falling down the like the K falling down the cliffside, the chasm, and, yeah, the chasm, and Shenron's like an upgrade and a little bit press, extra, press a little bit extra, <laughs> big ta- pillar of fire, so cool, yeah, and then he tra- so and then he transforms and is like <laughs> ten he's feet fucking, taller, he's fucking in. And, and Get he's getting juice. punched. He's getting punched by Get the androids. Juice. And then it, the music is. It made it sound so demonic. Like mm-hmm. he can't be touched. It was really it was freaking so scary. Good. See, this is part of the reason why I really enjoy like anime as a whole is because they can set up and they can actually go through and add, completely animate these like grandiose fire fighting scenes. Things that you can never do like in real life. It's just so cool to like. Sit there and watch. You almost get a little bit of like an adrenaline rush because it's just completely impossible. For both of those reveals and transformations, the f- okay, the first Piccolo transformation was hype enough. I was like, finally. And then they took it to the next level. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready. I really <laughs> wasn't ready. <laughs> like, the, I don't get tingles up the spine and like, I don't know, like the, the insides of my nose started to tingle. Like I was like about to sneeze, but I wasn't <laughs> sneezing. Nice. Like, I got, like, actual, like... Visceral reaction. A hundred percent visceral reaction. Like, that actually put me in a state of, like, I can't take my eyes off of this right now. Otherwise, I feel like I'm missing moments of my life. I can't get back. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I uh, I had a wild time there. I wasn't sold on I'm what I'm going to call the anti-villains. Okay. The hero yeah, yeah, androids. Right. Yeah, yeah. Until, like, close to the end. They did end up, you know what, being pretty fucking cool. Yeah. They were pretty cheeseball oh. corny, and I was waiting for the payoff. Yeah. The, I, I, I won't lie, I was a little disappointed that the payoff was Cell again. Yeah. Especially Cell version 2. Yeah, Cell like second cell form. Yeah, Cell well, second form. They just did the meme face. It was just the, uh, I'm firing uh, my laser. I'm firing my laser. Yeah, and then he did barf the laser out of yeah, his yeah. mouth at one point. I, yeah, I mean, what was it, Cell Max? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, just the name kind of was a little cheese. But I, when I heard it was Cell again, I was like, oh, sick. Cell's the best trash talker in the series. And then he, and then he just turns out to be a mindless fucking Cell form, too. Yeah. But it wasn't made by Dr. Giro. And I, I throw my fandom on that kind of hard. Because well, it's not... If it was Dr. Giro, and if there was some sort of storyline where Dr. Giro made another Dr. Giro, then I would have been happy with it, but there was none of that. They did address it, though. They did, like, point out that, like, hey, you need to give this thing, like, three more months before it's... Yeah. It needs, it needs to have, like, it's, like, it's programming finished or whatever. Um, so I think, like, the mindless form was just, like, it's base whatever programming or whatever the fuck. So I think that's kind of like the counter argument to I'm sure if they would have taken the time to fully finish that project, it would have been about the same sort of outcome as as Cell, but the thing is, is that like the kid creating it is it's Dr. Dro's grandson. Yeah. 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 Which is funny because he's like it's 24. Was it you or you that was said something to me about like, "Oh, that kid's in the line of danger" or something like that? I'm like, "That's not a child. That's That was me. I, I forgot it was an adult." Yeah, that's that's a fucking adult. That's he's yeah. short. He's like 3 foot 3. Yeah. Uh, I probably but say Krillin's like Krillin's like five 80. He's like 80. <laughs> well, I, I wonder mean, how old he is. Like 80. Yo, <laughs> which is which is super funny because he flies in with his little police helmet and just fucking. Then I think there's that's 18. dope. 
I think that Krillin being a cop is so cool. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, you're a cop, and I've seen some episodes of, I'm pretty sure, Dragon Ball Super, where he's driving around in a little cop motorcycle with his fucking thing over it, and his wife is 18! Yeah. His wife is an android that literally has, like, an infinite drive engine. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy! It's like... How do you not feel inept after that? Like... Uh, cause she's into you? I guess, yeah. I guess. He, and he actually went out of his way to wish for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't wish for that. He wished for her to be human. Uh, oh. Wait! So she is... She's with him cause she wants to be. No, no, I mean, like, she doesn't have, like, an infinite, like, she energy. Still does. She can make babies. Yeah. She, can... she still has all her powers. But she can make babies. Yeah, but she wouldn't have, like, her infinite energy she engine. She's still Android 18. Yeah. What the hell? She can still do all the stuff she used to be able to do, though. Uh, we should probably rate this thing on yo, the it's, funk Yo, meter. it's... Okay, well, right off, the, right off rip. Comic Relief, I give that a, a, fre a funky fresh rating. Oh, yeah. I would agree yeah. with that. I think the movie's funky fresh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Action, I, give, I give it like a solid, like over, for me personally, like a 4.3 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, Funky Fresh, for me. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, 3, uh, no, 4. 4. I was going to say like 3.7, but it's not, no, it's, it's a 4. It was it's a really, not, it was a good movie. I'm not gonna, it's not the funkiest movie, but it's anime, so default gets a little bit of funk points. Yeah. There's pervy moments, <laughs> weird moments. <gasps> Like, it had a little bit of funk scattered throughout. You know, I just thought of this. I was like, oh, why didn't we see Master, Master Roshi? But he's actually dead. When did that happen? Dragon Ball Super. When? During the Tournament of Power. Everybody technically died. I'm pretty sure Master Roshi, like... You can't die in the Tournament of Power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he sat there for the whole thing. He was definitely there the whole time. He might have died by the point this movie takes place, though. I don't know. I thought there was... I, uh, maybe... No, he, he fell off the edge and, like, died. But then I he thought, got back on their side. No, I thought... he can't kill in the Tournament of Power. I thought, I thought I saw a clip of Master Roshi. Oh, maybe it was just during the Tournament of Power where he was being overly dramatic. But Master Roshi, like, used the remainder of his power and he, pa he like, said some, like, heroic speech to yeah. Goku and... He gets resurrected right oh, okay. after yeah, yeah. Like, immediately. Yeah. But, actually, I guess we I, it's not fair to say Master Roshi's dead in the movie, because we really don't know. I haven't seen Master so Roshi. So, Master Roshi dies in the first five minutes of the movie. No, shut we up. said there was going to be it heavy spoilers. Huge spoiler. Huge Wait, spoiler. No. Huge. If you guys thought spoilers were out, <laughs> yeah. you're not no, ready he's... for the next three minutes. Yeah. Uh, Son, Chi-Chi's dead. Uh, Master Son Roshi Goku, is dead. Uh, is actually... Uh, the new God of Destruction. Pan is dead. Uh, Vegeta is now a woman. And... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bulla is a man. Uh, Bulma is a man. Uh, yeah, and she's just got this big hammer. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Her cock is massive. <laughs> she actually wishes... Wishes for the biggest cock. Regularly. Regularly. Just in case someone's caught up. <laughs> Just in case somebody... <laughs> so if you guys aren't caught up yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, Master Roshi's not dead. I thought he died. Because I saw a clip the other day. I mean... I guess that's what... He... I don't no, think they're... Master ever... Roshi's canonically dead. Is he? Yeah. What do you mean? When? You said so. No, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> here. He's dead I mean, now. You did say it. I will literally spoil the remaining remainder of the two seasons of My Hero Academia for you if you don't shut the fuck up. I, I didn't even say anything. No, what I'm a kidding. posture! What a posture! I'm coming in hot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just posturing that what? hard? No, I'm not. Okay. Well, I think I'm not. We should probably wrap up <laughs> on the funk meter. So this is our bin. This is our bin, and has our bin. <laughs> I think if we add, <laughs> what the fuck I think that? if we average the scores, it gets a four point one five. Yeah, out of five I would, on I would the funk say meter. yeah, four point one five. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. So really let's good. let's tally up the funk factor quickly to give it its four point one. Is it this most two five? Uh, okay, what is the first pillar of funk? Comedy. Uh, awkward funniness. Uh, so we're rating its awkward no, funniness? Co comedy. Well, part of it. Part of the funk so factor has to, go, to... You would have to go comedy, story... Action. Action. 
but it's funk. That I that accumulates the funk. But what about the really funky bits? What are the funky bits? The, s- the gross parts. Yeah. What well, the, the gross, gross parts? Th- the weird parts. The parts that make you go like, "Why is this a thing?" For me, that's the Dende shit. <laughs> it's like, why? Well, the, why is this happening? It's wishes. Well, the, the thing. <laughs> that, I. The thing that struck me as the funky part was the part where Gohan in multiple parts of Dragon Ball, and or not multiple parts, but like the parts where he like rips his glasses off and charges up. They never explain like what the fuck happens with his eyes. Someone asks, though. Yeah, Piccolo does ask. And But then he just straight up says, he's like, so does this mean that when you take your glasses off, your eyes are better? Yeah, he says, so when you transform so into a saint, your to eyes are better? Re- that, to me, is very funky. That's true. It is yeah. a fun- funky yeah, detail. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the funky standout to you, Trevor? Uh, probably the fucking Bulma does dumb shit, like wish for two milli- extra for millimeters. Cosmetics. Yeah, wishes for two extra millimeters on her eyelashes. Who the fuck does that? Uh, Frieza. Frieza. Yes, okay. Yeah, that's okay, I, yeah. when I saw that, the first thing I said was, is why does everybody have a body complex? <laughs> Who doesn't? Goes, Who doesn't? Yeah, they, they want to make themselves look... Frieza sick. and Bulma, most relatable characters <laughs> in Dragon Ball. Everyone else is... Definitely. <laughs> Literally everyone else is an Adonis. Frieza's a freaky the, little dude. And the, the, only <laughs> diff- old. the only The only difference between Bulma and Frieza is that Frieza is willing to eradicate and destroy all life, whereas Bulma's just got a ridiculous god complex. No, Frieza's got the god complex. One no, thing they've would, gotten no, common, No, no, no. No, no. Bulma, because she went up and actually said something to Beerus on her birthday. That's a god complex. That is someone who doesn't give two fucks. She's got a god complex. Yeah, but neither does Frieza. No, he does. Yeah, he they does. Both do. They both do. They both do. Like I said, was, the, the difference is... I'll is tell you one thing Frieza's she and Frieza do. have in common, though. They've okay. both been fucked by Vegeta. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'll rest my case. <laughs> Damn. All right, my man over there, fucking pulling no punches. <laughs> I mean, freezes the what's, only one. So what's what's your? I already said the Dende stuff. The Dende stuff. Okay. Yeah, the Dende stuff. I, I just think, like, why is I, this happening? I think that the 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 comic rel- like the added comic relief that Dragon Ball doesn't usually throw in there, like. The, the funny shrub moments with Piccolo wearing the henchman uniform. It's like hunched behind and, and talking and on then, the phone. And then the henchman walks by and is like, what's up, man? And he's like, uh, 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 hey, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Has to try and play it off. Like, that never happened ever one time in the entire series. I think it's kind of funny that they bring some of the tropes into the light but still deal with them in a, in a you know, it's or like the manner. Well, like the, the 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 brief moments where the people who don't know what the fuck's going on try and talk like Hercule is the strongest guy in the world. So good. <laughs> so or good. When, or when Piccolo leaves for however fucking long and then comes running back in the room and he's like, "Man, where'd you go?" He's like, "Oh, sorry, I had to go to the bathroom." Yeah, like, like the those... fact the fact that they're still there and they're hey, don't still worry, waiting. buddy, call in nature. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the, like he could just play it off and they're just dumb. Henchmen. Yep. They're but they're also nice. Henchmen. That's why he saves that one. He saves, what's his, 17, 13? What's his number? Oh, no, I don't remember what it is. But he saves him because, like, he ends up kind of, like, kind of, start, kind of starting to like the guy. Yeah. And feeling yeah, bad like, for him. Yeah, it was, like, 73 <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, did you guys notice how absurdly big that henchman looked? Oh, yeah. He, he was yeah. hench. He was, yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. He, was, he, had, he had a whole lot of hench to his man. Yes, yeah. absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah, my man, had, my man had a lot of hinge. I loved it also, so much, man. Also, I don't know, it was a funky-ass movie. The fact that Pan recognized Piccolo, but Gohan didn't, I thought that was also kind of funny. Gohan's not scanning for energy. No, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, not yeah. even paying attention. But I did think it was really cool. He would have been if he were Pan's age. That's what I kind of pulled out of that. Was like, like when a, Gohan was training, he was honed in. Well, that's the I I I, I think I told you this, but he got he basically got bulmud. Sorry, not bulmud. Uh, Chi Chi, Chi Chi basically like put made him an academic, and he doesn't train at all now. 
Yeah, he that, just goes beast why, mode and it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Fuck. That's kind of the, the whole thing, because when he tapped into his emotions... Okay, let me break this down for a second. When Piccolo was kind of a dick the whole movie long, a and was bit, like, yeah. I'm going to play a little game with yeah, your daughter. Yeah, yeah that was, that was and, a little bit much. And maybe you get out of your house because you ignore your kids. <laughs> mm. I'm going to... Yeah! Yeah! But I'm going to like, make her get kidnapped. Yeah. I'm going to throw her in the line of harm. So, you know... And they didn't... Like, it wasn't ironic either. They did it on purpose in the writing. the best dad in Dragon Ball, though. Sadly. I know. He's the best dad he's in the Dragon only, Ball. He's the only one that's Next actually Vegeta. looked at It goes Piccolo, Vegeta, and then Goku. In my yeah. opinion. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. beginning of those kids' lives, Vegeta was an absentee dad. Uh, it would go Piccolo, he didn't, real in. Vegeta. He didn't tell he Trunks he loved him until he fucking killed himself fighting Majin. Okay, wait, what? He didn't tell Trunks he was proud of him until he killed himself fighting Majin Buu. Vegeta. Like, oh, Trunks yeah, was yeah. like, I don't know, he and Goten were like six and seven years old or something. And he had never once hugged his kid, told him he was proud of him, any of that. But then he hugs him and says he's proud of him and then kills himself fighting Majin Buu. Well, I mean... Vegeta fucked that kid up for life. Why do you think Trunks does Masenko's and not Gatling guns? Gallic guns. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I've been holding on to that. Well, I mean... I'm just thinking of the retort to that. That's all. Uh, I'm just saying, Vegeta was a fucked up dad. Well, I mean, both... Both... Pickles only non-absentee parent. Both Goku and Vegeta are both shit parents. Because any parent who's like, Yeah, I'm gonna... I die and I'm gonna force my kid to try and save the world, like, that's not uh, yeah, that super exciting. Yeah. Anywho. The only reason why he did that, though, was because of the foresight of him being a good father, knowing that he was going to be stronger than him. This guy got blessed by Super Kami Guru! He's super powerful! Yeah, I don't, I don't know. If Mickey Mouse ever was in Dragon Ball, that was it right there. Yeah, yeah, that would be it. Well, thanks, everybody! This has been the Funk Meter! Ha ha! Oh, that's fantastic! Sorry, I just had to do one. Oh, I can't even. Uh, that was actually by missing us Rage, much. And Raid Shadow Legends and Disney. Yeah. No, uh, let's leave Disney out of this. Boys, I told you last time, don't bring Disney into this shit. Anytime you start shouting out Disney, they'll fucking find you. They might. Yeah, they will. No, they, it's not that they might. This is like on the same level as Nintendo. Nintendo went and found a modder and like fucking some dude that we kept torrenting or like yeah, some modding. Dude. Some dude. Some dude, not Burnout Paradise Productions podcast. No, stop, no, stop, no. Dude. PlayStation don't want Nintendo. Exactly. Anyways. Nintendo, don't do that to me. And don't pretend like you Nintendo don't want to do what we want you to Nintendo. Don't pretend Nintendo.